Also helps if the microphone actually unmutes itself. Okay, it has worked out that there is actually a screen there. So, uh, why is this now off and I can't turn it back on? That's interesting. Hmm. Suspicious. Let's see if restarting it is going to help. I don't think it's still running anywhere, is it? No. Oh well. This might end up not having Twitch integration turned on, which would be annoying, but, you know. There's worse things in the world. We'll just have to see if we're going to play for Poison or play for Shivs. Because, you know, Shivs are a real thing, right? Well, take care. Hey, there we go. It's working again. Shivs are pretty fun. We can't shenanigans the special elite. Oh well. We still take the lament. Well, take care and sleep well if you do end up falling asleep. Okay, I think we're playing for poison. Apparently, we are definitely playing for poison. <laughs> so, what are we looking for here? We're looking for cards like Corpse Explosion and Catalyst. Uh, those are going to be key elements of this deck. Crippling Cloud, also quite good. Although, does exhaust, which is awkward. Upgrade applies 7 poison. We're going to poison so many things. And then the next step is, are we going to be able to apply enough poison to the heart, assuming we get there? Right. That uses up Neow's Lament. Oh, well, that's just annoying. Are we going to pivot into shivs? Maybe. Uh, maybe we'll pick up an Invenom and have the, the really odd shiv poison deck. Uh, let's scrap a card. I think we don't want strikes, just at all. So, this fight is going to be a challenge. Let's... Hang on. My phone is already on silent. Why is it not... See, you know, like when you put your phone on Do Not Disturb and then it starts disturbing you. How annoying is that? Okay, so we need to do one damage to the Fungi Beast. And, what, nine damage to the Slime? Which we're not going to be able to do. So we'll just have to defend and then, you know... Uh, 
Honestly, these just aren't great. So I figure probably Blur here is at least the least bad card. Great, the super metallicized version. We really need to build up the poison on this thing as much as we can. And the weakness. Oh, yeah. Bonus attacks. All of the attacks. And now it starts to get really hard. So it does two big attacks, is the, the way this thing works. And then, after two big attacks, sucks your strength and dexterity. It's kind of irrelevant. We aren't going to have any block anyway. It's now just going to be a question of if we can get enough poison going here to be able to take it out. Uh, so it's going to suck strength and dex again this turn. So we've got two turns, probably. Which at least gives us a turn to set up and buy ourselves one additional turn. Okay, and now I think we win, but we end up on one? So, this is going to be interesting from here on out. Uh, Noxious Fumes is going to go pretty well in this deck. Uh, let's also get some health. That seems like a really good idea about now. Oh great, and a slime. So it's going to start off by sliming us. Can we do... What do we need to do, like 20 odd this turn? No, apparently not. Fine. We have another turn to set up. This is okay. So it's going to take 8 at the end of turn and we need to get it down to 34? 4, 8, 12. Okay, we can at least split it. may not be the correct choice but I think it's now too late so can't remember if it rounds up or rounds down for working out if it needs to split
Well, the longer we survive without taking any more damage, the better, because the noxious fumes is just going to keep ticking up the poison for us. Which is kind of all we really need to do at this point. It's not going to be the fastest way to win, for sure, but... You know, it, it's workable. And now it's a lot easier for us to just stay alive. We've only got one of them to worry about. And now we just straight up win, and we don't even need to do anything anymore. And cool drops can be handy, but slice is also pretty good. Yeah, we'll go with the cool drops for this one. We'll see how this goes. And I'm going to take the sapphire key over the centennial puzzle there. Uh, but we definitely do need more health more than anything else right now. Slime goop. Okay. Gremlin knob, not the greatest thing ever. Oh, especially not only drawing the crippling cloud now. I mean, we play the Crippling Cloud, but it sucks to play it there. Yeah. Hate fighting this thing. Okay. So we can take one, or we can take four. Ah, oh, it's going to be slightly more because of vulnerable, isn't it? Feel six to twenty one, fourteen. Okay, I think we just try and tank this turn and let Poison deal with it. It's really difficult trying to do vulnerability maths against this thing. There you go, it's dead. It's fine. We got there. It's all good. Uh, these are technically cards. <laughs> Do we actually want any of these, is the question. So we've got retain a card, possibly a free attack, and a big hit that draws us more cards next turn. But honestly, these just don't seem great. Uh, we are definitely going to the shop, though. Okay. So... 263... So, the thing is, if we don't take the ninja scroll... We can't ever get it. We will probably find more copies of Infinite Blades. So I think we take the ninja scroll. Hmm. 
Mm. I mean, we could start trying to get rid of more strikes. Or we could just heal up. I think heal up is the choice here. And then... We... Hmm... To make the noxious fumes better? There are worse choices. Especially when you end up ripping it to start with. I kind of wish I'd done that first now. I forgot that Choke was a card you can get from that. So now we just try and poison the ghost. Which I think if we follow Pokemon rules is pretty much how it works. I'm going to have to be really careful though. We are um, starting to get a little low on... Uh, the old life points here. But thankfully we are not on Ascension 5 just yet. If we were on Ascension 5 we would be in real trouble. This is fine. The extra strike was kind of irrelevant there, but, you know. Uh, and now we just need to survive this turn, which we can definitely do. Which... Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> I did briefly forget to take into account the fact that we had those burns. <laughs> Uh, after image is not terrible here. Um, alchemize, yeah. I think we probably go with the after image. Bullet well, time is just funny, but it's not. It's not a card I think is particularly good. Uh, no longer obtain potions. Of these, probably the option. The deck we're building, we kind of want to be able to see intents and upgrading cards is useful. Um, so I think we we just accept not having the ability to gain potions anymore. This seems like probably the best route. Oh, okay. And at least it's not birds. It's usually birds. I'm also slightly suspicious at the fact that we seem to have started with accuracy and noxious fumes in every game or in every fight. You know, it is good for us, at least. Uh, yeah, let's have some cool drops. To 
depending on how this run goes, I might go and try a a uh, Juggernaut Ironclad run as well. Because I like silly stipulation runs. And you're dead. Uh, okay. These are also all cards. And Riddle with Holes... If we pick up in Venom, Riddle with Holes can be good. Because that's 15 damage plus 5 poison. Quick Slash at least replaces itself. Acrobatics is best in the sort of slightly weird, um, like, discard silent deck. So I think I take the, the Riddle with Holes there. Riddle with Holes also quite good against this thing. I really ordered that terribly. So really what I should have done there was spin it around and play the after image first. That would have been sensible. But you can also start to see where after image gets out of hand very quickly. Especially with blur. This is almost turning into a, a sort of juggernaut ironclad build except with not Ironclad. <laughs> so yeah, the way plated armor is counted, things like Riddle with Holes take off one plated armor for each time they hit which makes them suddenly get a whole lot better. And yeah, it just dies to poison. Ooh, cunning. Oh no, we can't collect potions. Uh, but we might be pivoting with accuracy and blade dance. Uh, blade dance is strong also though prismatic shard although also dreamcatcher is not terrible for us here we have some actual options so the prismatic shard is fun but i think actually dreamcatcher is pretty good there do not like fighting this thing So this has the incredibly annoying, malleable um, ability. Oh, it has malleability. It just means that every time you hit it, it gains that much block and then increases. Thankfully, it's not as bad as the stupid Tangler that you can find in uh, Act 3. That has the ability to just add curses to your deck. Because that is ridiculous.
There you go. Have all your block and then die to poison. Ha! Huh, told you we'd find more infinite blades. Although, running immediately into a Sneko afterwards... Yeah. So, we're going to be relying very much on making shivs. <laughs> and getting apparently the best luck ever of Sneko rolls. But we now do get a free shiver turn. Uh, yeah, I will happily take a cheap crippling cloud. We don't actually need that just yet. So yeah, the Sneko has the really annoying thing. Um, the same ability that's on the Sneko's eye, and there's a Sneko potion as well. Um, but what it does is it does this whole confusion thing where it randomizes the cost of every card you draw. Because that's not ever going to be in any way annoying. Okay, so we can go up to 9 block, which would be enough. But then we're going to have to be careful, because we are only on 2. Um, but, you know, we will take another blade dance. And rest. And we will take an accuracy plus. Uh, I don't think we can risk taking on the elite. What elites are there in Act 2? Problem is, if we don't take on the elite, we risk running into the uh, muggers. But we didn't. We're okay. Uh, yeah, let's also heal. Yeah, look, there's the bouncing flask. Do we take the Bouncing Flask, or do we take the Calculated Gamble, or the Prepared? Or nothing. Nothing is technically an option. I'm tempted by the Bouncing Flask, if I'm honest. It's not really in what we're trying to do anymore. Uh, yeah, let's take the Oracalc. You find yourself in an old decorated chamber. A large skull sits atop an ornate pedestal. As you approach, the skull bursts into flames and turns to face you. So we lose 6 HP. Oh, I remember what this one is. Let's get a colourless card. Yeah. And then leave. So you can stay there as long as you like, but it takes 6 HP to leave and 6 HP to do anything else. So it's the sort of trade-off. So we're going to take a hit for 10, but we just did do a whole lot of damage to this Mystic. You can kind of see where Shivs really start to deal damage, though. And it's just like, okay, for zero energy, Deal 24 damage.
So two defense is actually not worth it because we'll get six from the Auric Alchem. And now our shivs are doing 14 damage. Uh, don't care about those cards at all? I, I've never seen Doppelganger be good. Like, maybe in some sort of ridiculous big energy combo deck, but... Uh, yeah. I also want to start upgrading these powers because I know they upgrade to get innate. Uh, and that seems like a good thing. So yeah, opening up with the Crippling Cloud and all the shivs is strong, I think, there. So here we're actually safe, because this one's going to die immediately. This one's only doing 5, and I think this does entangle this turn, which means no attacks. Yeah. Which means this is going to be a setup turn. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> Our shivs deal an additional 10 damage. I thought it was going to do all of them on the same one for a minute then. So we're going to take a little bit of a hit here again. But, it's the kind of hit we can really afford to take. And then, shivs all the way. Uh, I mean, more blade dance. We are going full shiv. After image, accuracy... I figure we probably want to start with the Bouncing Flask here. That's going to be good for us. Because we know the shivs are going to break through all of the armor for now. More accuracy. More poison. And now even with weak, our shivs are massively overpowered. And this is the power of shivs. Power of shivs is a curious thing. Deadly poison, I guess? It's just handy for some of these things that have, like, malleable. Um, who's the boss? Boss is the Guardian. Guardian's immune to poison. It summons the Watcher Orb Eye things. Does Hyper Beam, which is annoying. I think we need to rest. Uh, Shore Backstab. Sorry, Bronze Automaton. 
is the actual correct name. You know what, I'm actually going to burn the crippling cloud here just to start wearing off this artifact. Orb. also actually just going to go for the decks here so we know we're going to take a bit of a hit oh, you've stolen infinite blades or in fact our only infinite blades Unfortunately, we have no way of getting the energy to play it that turn. But we can at least... Uh... Oh, you took the accuracy? Okay, so this turn, this thing I think charges, we get the accuracy back, which we immediately play. We get the caltrops we immediately play. And we just start trying to load up the automaton with poison. And then we die. Our deck just couldn't decide what it wanted to be. This is why I do stipulations. There's none of this, oh, which way should I go? Let's try and do an ironclad stipulation. Oh, this is going to be interesting. We can't rest, but if we get the cards we want, we don't need to rest. So we're looking for things like uh, Iron Wave, uh, definitely Barricade and Juggernaut. There's an Iron Wave, that's a good start. Uh, Body Slam is another thing we're going to need. I do not want to be wasting money on potions. I have to admit, starting with four energy is strong. That's like, what are you going to do now? We have an iron wave left, which is enough to kill you. Don't even need to see what other cards we draw. Okay... I mean, Ghostly Armor's not bad. Feel No Pain isn't bad, but we're probably not going to be exhausting anything. At least not enough to make the Feel No Pain any good. I also strongly suspect that Barricade Ironclad is terrible against the Heart of the Spire. 
just does not seem like what you want to be doing in that situation. None of these go in the barricade deck. And yes, I am just forcing barricade. I don't care that it's a bad idea. That's what we're doing. Okay, we're going to take our first damage. Should have just focused all of the attacks the first time on the one that was charging, really. But, you know, I think we're guaranteed to win this time. This turn, yep. They're not the same set of cards. No, not quite. The clothes line instead of the perfected strike. Still don't want any of them, though. That's right, you do your 16. We've already done 53. So, you know, I think we're winning. Even if we don't get to rest anymore. Wow, still no cards for our deck. Uh, I guess we could upgrade the Iron Wave, or we take our chances in the question mark rooms. Ooh, what was that? Nice. Not going to push it any further than 50%. Perfect timing. You see, if we had the barricade right now, we would be so happy. We have a shop coming up. No. Not unless we get one in a um, in a question mark room. Okay, Rage, actually not terrible in this deck. I'll take the Rage. Ra. Didn't particularly want to be finding something like this in here, though. Again, if we had the Barricade here... We do kind of need to be a little bit careful about health. We had the slime boss. The slime boss is not the hardest. I don't know if anybody has, like, opinions on relative rankings of uh, Act 1 bosses. I think 
I generally find the the one who does the defensive mode thorns thing the worst of them. Yeah, let's get a bit defensive. Bonk. So we have a bunch of strikes left. Two strikes this turn wins. Yeah. You see, that would have been good the other day. Uh, nope. Unfortunately not. Yeah, let's upgrade the Iron Wave. More block, more damage. This is also not the greatest fight to run into here. Uh, yeah, let's have a rage. That was uh, lucky. I mean, okay. Perfect barricade hand, but... Just minimize damage for now. Yeah, with what we've got left, we definitely win. It's just going to be a little low on health. Ooh, entrench. Entrench definitely goes in a barricade deck. I mean, you know, we still need the barricade that goes in the barricade deck, but... What's the upgrade on Entrench? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to get the key. Goop spray. Goodbye, ghostly armor. We hardly knew ye. So we need to deal at least 19 damage this turn. This will be possible. So this one does weak and this one does frail, I think. So we want to kill this one as fast as we possibly can. Yeah. Almost got there. We came very close to not taking any damage at all. Unfortunately, this does mean we're going to get one frail. 
And then they're going to give us a break, apparently. So we're going to get one more frail and one more weak. Oh no, two more weak, because that's still a big slime. Damn it. And then one of those sort of edge cases where entrench for just a few block is actually really good. Yeah, just keep gooping us, it's fine. We'll take this opportunity to remove some goop. We have five goops. So much goop. This is not the greatest situation. We did so well at just not taking hits for ages in that fight. And then it's just like, no, you're taking hits again. But we got there. It's all good. So, double tap, I will take because it does at least work with um, body slam. Yeah, look, there's the Sneko eye that we definitely don't want. Uh, I will take the Philosopher's Stone because, in theory, we start getting barricades and then we just win anyway, so it's fine. And this way gives us an immediate shop. We just have to deal with the chosen. Whoops. Meant to do that first. Just took one unnecessary damage because I am bad at sequencing. Then we get hexed. It feels weird double tapping just to use a strike like that. But I think that's still correct there. This is going to hurt. I mean, we should now just straight up win, but, you know. Uh, none of those go in the deck we're making. To the shop. Ooh, Horn Cleat. That definitely does go in this deck. Hmm. True Grit, kind of tempting. Finesse, definitely tempting, though.
I do at some point want to try and have a run where I get all of these things. So you get like the anchor, the horn cleat, whatever the others are that I no longer remember. It's like every turn for the first like four turns or something. I'm just going to gain all this block. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You can also start seeing where Entrench gets very, very good if you have a barricade up. It's like, well, I'm now not losing this block every turn. So... <laughs> yeah, congratulations, you managed to heal for three. We are at least doing quite well at minimizing the damage we take here. That'll do it. None of those go in the deck. I think we try and go this way. Maybe even that way. We'll see. We'll work it out sort of as we go along. Let's take the risk. No, that's a bad face. Oh no, that's a good face. Kind of. I think that has to be a good face, right? Bonus energy for playing attacks. That's definitely good. Oh no, not the book of stabbing. Well, how do we navigate this? I mean, other than with extreme difficulty. Because definitely with extreme difficulty. Although we seem to not be dying, which is somewhat more than I was expecting to be the case. I'm going to take some damage and get another wound here. But... Ouch. This one's going to hurt a lot. by five? <laughs> yeah. Damn it. You're close to getting through that one. We'll have another go. I do miss playing a proper barricade ironclad, so... Let's transform two strikes immediately. Wow! That's the worst possible transformation. This is going to be a challenge. <laughs> Oh, 
Actually, I'll be honest with you, I'm not even going to try that run. We'll just quit there and start over. That was... Honestly, transforming into double evolve is not a thing. <laughs> or at least it shouldn't be. Uh, yeah, so we start off this way. And we just bulldoze our way straight through the first uh, first few floors. Mm, nope, none of those do the stuff we want. Uh, oh, we don't have enough money for the anchor. But we can get metallicize. Nope. Oh, seeing the fire breathing again does remind me a uh, flame barrier. Okay, we got a tea set. Dislike Lagavulin. Lagavulin might just end us. At least we can rest this time, though. That was definitely a challenge in the last run. It was... Yeah. Actually, with the power through, True Grit is probably a good pickup as well. Power through plus metallic size is honestly kind of saving us here. <laughs> Oddly smooth stone. Inform headbutt war cry. Unfortunately, none of those do what we want. We do unfortunately need the health. So, I think we have to pick up the parasite. This is also going to be unpleasant if all three of these start with plus two strength. But, you know, we'll see where we can get to. Eight fourteen nineteen. Still not enough. So yeah, let's play this the really, really cautious way. So we've got three rest sites that we can hit. No shops, though.
And we're going to take a hit. We do at least have this blood potion, so if things get bad, we can we can deal with it. Yeah, th this is my I'm tired game. It requires very little thought on my part. <laughs> but yeah, we are uh, we are playing the ridiculous stipulation version of the game. We are trying to build, or in fact, we are trying to force barricade ironclad. Which is... It's a thing. <laughs> because I say it is. Um, <laughs> Goodbye all of the days. So we've got... Five days, two wounds, and a parasite. <sighs> well, at least we break even on days, is there? Down three days. There's only two days left. That's not so bad now. Oh yeah, okay. And pen nib. Pen nib is good. Ah, body slam. That goes in the deck. We have no shops coming up. So that is going to do a lot of good for us. Upgrade the body slam because having a free attack is good. Oh, we actually have enough energy to break the curl up on all of them. Okay. Really? They managed to give us four week. <sighs> that is why I really like Body Slam. Um... <laughs> Give me all the week you like, if I can still do that much damage to you. I'm so glad of the metallicize right there, though. <laughs> it's like literally just enough to avoid taking damage. So, fire breathing actually could work in this deck because we've got the power through. Sh 
shrug it off also works in this deck and we're not allowed to take in flame <laughs> do we take fire breathing i think we maybe take the fire breathing and see if we can also pick up an evolve or something Hate these things. You gremlin army. We're going to need to kill that wizard really soon. <laughs> Is part of the key issue here. And by really soon, I mean, like, this turn. Nope. <laughs> I hate the gremlins. <laughs> Also, I like how every Ironclad run we've done in any of my recent streams has been like, oh, have all these Barricade cards. As soon as we started trying to play Barricade Ironclad, none of them. Okay, so I, we have to start here and roll the dice, right? One, two... So we can't shenanigans that elite, but we might shenanigans this one. Roll the dice. Iron wave, it has to be. Okay, good start. Damn. We might still shenanigans the elite, but it's hard. I mean, it's harder now. Uh, none of these go in the barricade deck. Yeah, I think we're just going to play it safe here and upgrade the Iron Wave. Damn it. So Dual Wield can copy Body Slam, or it can copy um, something like a Metallicize or a Juggernaut. So that seems Oh, not again. It's been so long since we've seen a Lagavulin. And now, like, all the time. I'm actually more scared of this. The only thing that scares me more than this is the idea that the special elite might also be a Lagavulin. Because in that case, we are in trouble. But for now, we at least have a chance. Uh, 
Do we copy strike? Atra. Feel no pain. Is borderline playable in this? Yeah, I will uh, get even more copies of Iron Wave, which is really... Oh no, not already. Okay, we stand a chance of not dying here. Unfortunately, with this shield gremlin is going to make life difficult. Especially if that happens. Or we could just get exceedingly lucky. Somehow. <clears throat> and now the only problem we uh have with this one is this whole angry business but we can kind of negate that by attacking it with iron wave so uh, and we are not allowed any of these because they don't go in the barricade deck uh, sure we'll take the key and we'll fight okay this is not the worst elite although they've all got strength again Really? Fine. We take a hit and we spend the first turn getting as close as we can to just killing one of these. Yeah, we'll use that. It's not exactly how we wanted to do this, but it does kill one of them. And this is also the perfect setup for this Feel No Pain. Which is going to get us a lot of block in this fight. Hey look, there's six block. Yeah, I'm... So the feel no pain early on is usually really bad, except in this exact situation. Actually, that was completely irrelevant because had the artifacts so we were never going to be giving it vulnerable but you know and once again the number of daisies they've put in the deck mean that we take no damage and then we win
Ooh. Okay, Impervious is not terrible for us here. I mean, this starts to get phenomenal with, like, Barricade and Entrench. But we will have to see if we can actually get there this time. This isn't good. Hey look, the impervious is here. On the other hand, we're pretty much straight up dead now. so difficult to build this deck on any sort of ascension level. Um, hello again. Yeah, we always take that one. And then we look for the best shenanigans we can do. There are no shenanigans. Shame. Oh well. Let's see if the spy is going to be nicer to us this time. Uh, okay. Armaments definitely goes in the barricade deck. Upgrade some cards. Kind of for free. Uh, yeah, always agree. <laughs> Immediately win. Mm, not keen on the Dark Embrace. I mean, not in the game, anyway. Fire breathing is not terrible here. Uh, we have to go this way. Uh, I'm going to upgrade the armaments because that just gets silly. I mean, we're going to take the impervious. And then we're actually going to remove the doubt. Uh, I think we can get the relic. Ooh. Okay. Now we have some things we can look to try and do. That was actually the treasure room. Uh, I think we want the blood vial. Particularly uh, now we don't fully heal at the end of a chapter. It's worth it, I think. Yeah, it's not ethereal. So the dead branch is now a really useful thing for us. Okay, I'm actually just going to take a setup turn here.
Oh, yes, we kill Slimy Thing last. Uh, then we're also in quite a good position. In fact, we just don't even need to take the slime out of the deck. So every time we draw some of this slime, it's just free damage. And now it doesn't matter anyway, but, you know, the thought was there. Uh, none of those go in the barricade deck. This one isn't fun. Think we have to kill that one first? Yeah, I mean, I guess what's the worst this one does? Put slime in the deck that helps us kill it faster, so. Although we do also need to actually play the fire breathing for that. Uh, and I think we do want to take the six for the. Uh, the chance to just kill this thing. Okay. We're in good shape. This is all fine. Because now we just kill it. Uh, and we don't take any of the cards again. To be honest, this one's not ideal. This might be a bash and use attack potion. Oof. Yeah, this one's gonna hurt. Uh, so, 8 plus 4. Twin Strike probably does more damage, but I'm actually going to take the Bash just to keep the Vulnerable on for longer. Well, this is awkward. We have to give the Gremlin Knob more strength in order to take less damage from the Regret. And now we are uh, fine. We got there. It's all good. Uh, Sentinel, I guess. At least notionally fits in the deck. Oh, not a looter. What we've got left we have the bash but that's pretty much it for right now <laughs> turned into an entrenched that's utterly useless to us right now so we're going to do a couple of upgraded strikes perfect uh, I will take an actual entrench though
also take some damage. Kill the little maggot thing. Take one from regret. Keep forgetting that all these things have so much more strength than I'm used to because we're on the uh, the higher well, I say higher ascensions, highest ascension I've ever actually played. Well, crap. That could have gone worse, I'm sure. But... I find it difficult to see exactly how. Deal 12 or deal 18. Let's take deal 18. Go to 1? <laughs> Hope we win this turn. <laughs> okay, power through goes quite well with fire breathing. Let's do that also gain some health because you know is this one the guardian yeah upgrade everything thank you okay so we've got to do 29 damage this turn that's a start and that will do it I know we didn't need the power through, but I'm going to do it there with a view to setting up the uh, fire breathing. Perfect. Exactly the way we drew it up. Right, impervious. Some more sentinel. Sure. Thing is, we had spare energy, so I could have used the swift potion, but that's not such a great idea with regret in hand. Yeah, I think that's the play here, is stick it back into defensive mode. Terribly misplayed. That was exactly when to use the swift potion. Yeah, you're not getting through. Thank you. 
Yeah, sure, let's get some more free damage in. Destroy, destroy, destroy! This is not ideal, but it's okay. This isn't going to be good, though. I think we actually have to just leave it, because this way our fairy is going to kick in this turn. And this way the fairy can't kick in until after its attack. So I think this is actually correct here. As weird as that was as a decision-making process. And at least we've ended up not taking any further damage this turn. So we want to do 27 this turn? That's going to be a challenge. We won this turn. Ten. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to work out what sequencing actually let us survive that turn. And I think actually bash and strike plus were not going to do it. Fire breathing, on the other hand. Yes, we found it. We have the barricade. You know what? Let's take the coffee dripper. I'm going to make this the last run, so let's be as greedy as we can and see where it gets us. Um, okay, so there's a shop on each route. This, uh, okay. So we have a guaranteed elite fight on this route. But only two guaranteed enemies. Two guaranteed enemies. Yeah, okay, I think it's this route. Oh, it's birds. Of course it's birds. Why wouldn't it be birds? Really didn't want the barricade and impervious at the same time there, but... Yeah. And we also definitely want to upgrade the barricade. But... We're getting somewhere. We are not losing all of our block this turn. Now we just need to keep this thing rolling. And ideally get rid of this regret. Well, I mean, okay, we have to do that, right? <laughs> And just take out the strongest bird in a hit. Um. <laughs> I 
See, this is where we'd also want, like, cool drops or something, and... and... Guess what? We're not taking down any of our armor this turn. Okay, if I'd looked at how much energy we had, we could be on 68, not 58, but, you know, just a shame it doesn't carry over between fights. I wouldn't mind starting with, like, 75 uh, block. I'm not wasting the impervious until we get a barricade up. There's the barricade. You know what? I'm actually going to take the opportunity to start getting block up while it's not doing anything to us. Hey, guess what? Goodbye, Regret. And the Chosen is still not attacking us, so... And this is where Barricade and Entrench come in really well together. Because now we're just in this place where it's like, okay, I'm just going to keep making... more block. And now we're up to 90 block. We're getting dazes every turn. And every time we draw a daze, we deal 6 damage for free. So... <laughs> Impervious, Entrench, please try and break the armor. Even with, like, I've just realized we have vulnerable. <laughs> Let's get rid of this limit break. It's a bit pointless. Oh, absolutely. You didn't think I was taking this seriously, did you? I'm actually going to try and use this fight to get the achieve. Oh, we're not going to, are we? We've got too much days. Oh, I shouldn't have played the fire breathing. Oh, okay, so here's an actual choice. Do we take the Rage or the Armaments? Consult the Book of Armaments. Uh, I believe 999 block. Uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, get rid of this. You all achievements. Uh, yeah, have 999 block during combat. <laughs> I somehow feel like we're not going to be playing that many attacks per turn. I mean, there is a shop we're working towards, so I'm going to smash and grab. Then, 
we're going to upgrade barricade so it's a bit cheaper which means we can now barricade and impervious in the same turn Ornamental fan there, encouraging us to uh, make bad choices like attacking. We also need to get the... I forget which bottle it is. Bottle Tornado, possibly? Yeah, I think we're going to have to take the extra damage for a bit just to get rid of the Fungus Beast. Here we go. And it's not the greatest, what with the frail, but, you know. I'm actually going to let that ghostly armor disappear again and see what it turns into. Oh, okay. The sentinel is not the greatest, but, you know. Armaments. More armaments. Power through Sentinel, Sentinel. Eventually, this deck is going to be like 90 wounds and two cards. <laughs> Fine. Also, I like the fact that clash we got by Exhausting Regret was just enough to trigger the ornamental fan and get some more block. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> Gained more block than that on our turn. I do enjoy just watching enemies try and chew through this much armor, though. Seems determined to give us more clashes. Armaments, Sentinel, Entrench. Yeah, please, have a go if you think you're hard enough. Sentinel. We need to get more in trenches. Okay, that's taken us up to 300. Now we can at least regain what we're about to lose. Armaments, defend. If we're ever going to actually make this achievement, it's probably going to be in this fight, right?
There we go. Defend. Entrench. Now you have to get through 600 block. <laughs> uh, defend. Power through. Great. So one more entrench. That's all we need. Preferably before fire breathing kills this thing. Oh, I only got the one defend. We're down very slightly. Down by another one. This isn't good. We're almost back down to only 600 block. Oh, that's right. We found an entrench. <laughs> ah, and a body slam. That's what we've been looking for for a while. <laughs> Oops, no. Upgrade that. Have to get priorities in this. So now we're going to get entangled. But then if we end up drawing exactly what we need for a good setup turn, it ain't gonna matter. So we are still going to end with some block. Oh, that was a really bad idea. Whoops. Headbutt cycling. Mm, this is going to get close. <laughs> breathing to death more body slam that's what we need okay I'm happy with that as a result Okay, we are going to need some very specific draws right now to not just die, I think.
Though we might be okay this turn. Well, that's okay. Don't like getting frailed, though. That's less good. Damn. We're dead. <sighs> that is a shame, given how good that run was going. <laughs> we just needed to get to the shop. Anyway, that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, don't know what I'm going to be playing next time. Uh, we will find out, I guess. Um, but yeah, until then, I will say thank you for joining me, and I will catch you next time. And yeah, I, I definitely agree. Uh, Barricade Ironclad is, I think, my favourite build. Um, I'll probably be playing more of it at some point in the future. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.